Hello and welcome to the Online Ambassador Platform. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. I hope everything is okay with you. How is the family? My name is Ados Michael. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about how you can convert your WordPress website into a mobile app using App My Site. It's a popular platform that you can actually use to actually make that possible, which I'm going to be teaching you how to do it today. So without further ado, let's move on to the training. Usually, App My Site is the URL of the website. You can see it, App My Site. That is the URL. At the moment you type uh, www.appmysite.com, it brings you straight to the platform where you can be able to create an app with the best mobile app builder without using anything coding. No programming language is required. You can build your premium mobile app with App My Site. You can redefine your online business with a native app for both iOS Store or Google Play Store, which means for Android or for App Store. Or Apple Pie, when I talk App Store, talking about maybe Apple Phone. So this platform is actually here. I have several of the apps that you can actually convert um, your, your website into it. I'm sure I'm going to be, you know, on the subsequent uh, videos, I will be showing you how you can use all these apps that are available at your disposal to do that. Now, look at it. This is the site when you come. This is how it's going to look like. This is the dashboard of the particular site. This is what you can do. As you're walking on the side, you can actually see uh, other means of uh, how it will be looking at the end of the day when you are done with the uh, app building. So this is actually having to actually have first-hand uh, overview of how your website will look like when you are actually done designing it. So this is it. So this is how it looks like. We have about 50,000 uh, plus customers that actually love this. You can see all of them here. So there you can see no coding required, make your own app in minutes. Suitable plans are available. When I will talk about plans, yes, there are plans. When I talk about plans, before I move further to the plans, you can actually see already that as you actually start, you can start personalizing this app and it will be looking exactly how it is. You can take complete control over how the website is, which means you can create high customizable app uh, that align with your business goals, convert websites uh, to apps, and also never compri or compromise on quality, which means it's for one thing for you to develop an app, it's one thing for you to also compromise on the quality of the app. You can instantly also uh, build any app delivery and do anything uh, that you want to do. Build an app with App My Site It's not only easy, but also quick. Now make an app in minutes and launch on Google Play or App Store. Try now, pay later. Now build an app for free and pick a plan later. Focus on making your app and only pay when you are ready. So that's actually what they have and you can actually get all those juicy, juicy stuff out there. But I'm sure uh, most of you don't want to just even worry about seeing all that they can do and what they have in store for you. So the most important thing is, uh, can you just take this video to the next level? Let's start creating it and see how it looks like. But the most important thing is for you to actually understand that what they are actually uh, offering as a service so that you can also know if it's something that you want to you know go for or it's not something you want to go for so they have so many you know things that you can actually get to know you have to create you have to personalize then you know to do what publish okay the first thing is when you are trying to create you need to sign up on our online app creator to build uh, an app for free uh, number two uh, design a mobile app that complements your brand then Submit APK or AIP or IPA app builds and launch your mobile app. So all these are actually what you need to do for Android and also how to do for what iOS. So this is easy. This is no big deal. You can actually do all that. So it does actually what they support, WordPress community and all that. So just get to know how it is. So if you want to move straight to the business, uh, I can start by creating a free account or I can just start by clicking what get started because by the time you get started eventually you will do also what create that account so I click get started now now get started I need to give it a name so I can say uh, let me give it a name I say Ados Michael I want to choose that 
email i want to choose adults michael then i am what the, i am a website owner i'm a freelancer developer website development company okay i'm a web developer company so which means every single time that i actually want to create out for clients uh, as a web development company i can actually just log into my site and also create accounts i am sure it's possible that i already create accounts here but i just want to just show you the process so that you can actually see how it goes so this is just security measures you need to make sure you feel all this uh, that is here then you can click say next uh, they say they want you to click on the motorcycle you could just also make sure that you capture all the motorcycle sections everything then you say verify now once it's noticed that everything is okay aha then you go now when i click register if i already have account it will tell me you know i already have account you see this email has already been taken so all i need to do is to what sign in so i click on the what this then i actually click this part then chimney this chimney is this one this one this one then i say verify then I, if i like i say remember this so that i don't need to also be logged out also now if you don't have account of course the moment i just finish all those process i'll just need to sign in but now i'm signing in officially all right so now i am here this is the platform welcome to app my site you are now ready to build your mobile app just follow these easy steps to get what your lab life so personalize your app connect your website publish your what app so i say build app so the first thing they asked me to do is to actually put up my url you see based on your um, ip address the currency dictated is usd if you want to change the currency please click here so which means if I feel, okay, no, I want to pay whatever thing that I'm going to pay in Nera, I need to not do what, I need to click this part here. I can just click it, then it will say, okay, see, you have US dollars. So the only plan they have here is two. So that you pay with Indian rupees or you pay with USD, which of course, I would prefer to pay what with USD, all right? Now I'm coming down here, the name of my website, I will say, uh, let me say adosmichael.com and i can make sure that the protocol is on https because my site is secure now they're asking you for the content management system platform that you're using if you are not using wordpress you need to click this drop down so you can check but still i notice on the drop down the only thing they still have there is what wordpress which means they are not even giving any option right now but they i'm sure in the nearest future they will actually start choosing uh maybe adding more of the content management platform so that you can actually use probably drupal you can use joomla you can use blogger you can use wix you can use my squarespace you can use as many as they come now they are now saying what type of website is this so now on the drop down you need to select is this an e-commerce website is it an e-commerce with blog is it a blog with e-commerce is it a blog or is it content management pages now my website actually is none of this is not an e-commerce website is no uh it's not an e-commerce with blog it's not a blog with e-commerce it's not a blog it's a content management pages which means it's more of like a corporate platform that has also uh those stuffs in there but for sure i can just say it's an e-commerce website i can call it that is a blog i can actually make you see it this is my uh this is the site so you see what i want to convert to mobile app all right so now you can see that this uh the free resources section is the blog section of my site so it's not just a blog because it's just also a page that i have in uh i actually sell courses which gives it access to e-commerce but of course uh i don't actually uh can call this an e-commerce website I also have a web hosting services that is connected here that also have to do with buying or for purchasing of uh, stuffs so I can still not call it. So this is a corporate website that has to do with about us, contact us and also inside the about us you can see your mission, vision statements and also all that. So this is my platform. So I can call this uh, any of those listed. I can rather call it the CMS uh, pages. That's what I would just say because all these are actually a bunch of pages that are also here okay so the next thing is they give your app a name 
I'm sure by the time you go to Play Store, what you actually look for an app that you want to also do what uh, you want to download. Sometimes, in case maybe they told you already or you heard about that app and you know the name of the app, so of course you just need to go to your Play Store and search for that app. For example, you want to search uh, about probably an app uh, like let's say WhatsApp or let's say WhatsApp Business or let's say Telegram. Of course, when you go to your Play Store, you need to type that. So without you knowing the name, of that app, of course, there's no way you can search about it. So now you need to actually give us a name that you need to use for the app. So that's actually what they're asking me to do. So the name of my app is the Online Ambassador. So which means anytime anybody goes to App Store or Google Play Store and search the Online Ambassador, I'm expected that the person will actually do what? Get this one. I'm sure you understand what I mean. The name you're giving right now is the name of your app, which means once you are done developing it and you've now decided to populate it into any of the stores, iOS store or Google Play store, anytime anybody goes there and search for the app, your app is likely to come out. When I say likely to come out is if you don't give it a name, I don't know what they will be used to search it, by the way. So you need to give it a name. All right. So. That is the name I want to give it, the Online Ambassador. And once you're done doing that, just click Build App. Now, see what will happen. All right, now the app is here. Now they say, look at the interface. You have all the tools that you're going to be using to build your app from here up down. These are your tools. These are also every single section that you are done with. Uh, because as you're coming, you're coming from the start, which is the app icon, which is the app icon. As you're done with the app icon, you're going to launch screen, you're going to log in and sign, you're going to color, you're going to home, you're going to so every step all the way as it goes or as you type, in case you want to jump some parts, you can just go straight and click, it will bring you But The most important thing is they have structured it from start to finish so that it can enable you to do all that you want to do, then you can actually take it to the next level. So from the process all through, everyone will be shown here and when you're done with all that you're doing and you click next, it goes automatically to the next screen and automatically to the next tools, to the next tools, to the next tools. And here you'll be seeing everything you are doing. So I want to be focusing on Android. So I want it to be on Android, not on iOS stuff. So I want it to be on Android. So you have the Android look, okay? So let me shift this uh, somewhere here. All right, so now what we have first is the, call, uh, the app uh, icon, okay? So I can click create, I can click upload. So if you want to create, if you click upload right now, I have to go and get on this part here that say upload app icon. So I click on it and it takes me to my computer. Okay, so let me use this as the icon. Since I could really check anyone, I can change it later. And I click crop and save. So now this is my icon that I have, okay? So once I've done that on my icon, I click what next. Okay. So you notice it has moved from icon down to what launch screen. Now the launch screen is it the online ambassador. Uh, I like this color, but if you don't like it, you can just click on it and choose anyone you want, any color you want. You can actually choose the color you want on. Okay. You can choose the color you think you want. Uh, but I think I like this one particularly this color I think is cool I like this okay then uh, background if you think you want to you know you don't want color you want to get a background you can actually do what click here to actually go and get a background that you will represent here okay so now they say app logo optional they say it's optional but if you want you can actually create or you can do what upload so what is optional okay so if you think you want it, you can actually just do what? Create it or upload it, okay? You can actually go and upload if you think you want it, okay? So that's for that. So the logo, which is supposed to represent here, is what I have here as an online ambass, okay? It's actually, uh, it can't be longer than that. So it's just that. And uh, the color, that I'm using here is white. If I want to change the color, I can change it to what? I can change it. Let me copy this uh, 
code first, I can change it to what? Yellow, I can change it to green, I can change it to anything I want to change it to. Uh, but I think I prefer the what? The white, all right? So that's the color. Now, font, this is the font I'm using. I can check the drop down and choose any font that I want, but I like that font. If you don't like it, you choose any one that you want. Uh, the font size, you can actually do what? Or reduce the size, you see? Or you can do what? Increase the size, any one you think you want. So I want to leave it at 20, okay? So that's for that. And I can, if I go and add, it's not possible. So just leave it the way it is. Then once you're done, you click what? Next. See, just be watching. So see, you jump now to login. So we are done with app. We're done with screen. It's not login. See, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so we are now logging. So I am saying it's Android that I want. So let it still remain in Android. I don't want it to go off Android. All right, so this is how it looks like. Then if you want to log in through your app, this is what we show. Uh, create your account. Then you can actually now, you know, use your Google, use Facebook or use uh, Apple. Or you can actually do what continue with your uh, what? With your email then if you already have an account you can do what sign in now that is actually what we're doing so you can actually play around with the colors as well if you want to if you don't like these colors you can you have all you can change the color of the team and everything but i think i like it that way so i click next all right so this is how it's going to be looking like in the blog section you see at the about also you can play around with it there's a team uh, color that's where we are so I don't want this color I don't want to change it I like everything here if you don't want just click change click change click drop down change click change what I do what I like all the way it looking so I say what next now it's time for the home screen this is how the whole screen is going to look like home services portfolio this is how it's going to look like so you have the home screen section how you can do what all that and in case maybe you change your mind to say uh it's not going to be these pages kind of you can do what edit uh it and it will not bring you back to where that very one but if it's actually what you want to do you can actually say what go ahead and do what is it it's okay so you need to go back to your appearance and go back to your home screen okay so I just want to show you that you can edit that. Don't say, ah, I forgot, I'm not supposed to use e-commerce and blog, or blog and e-commerce, or another e-commerce, or another blog. You can go and edit that, okay? Here, uh, dashboard header, uh, enter your app name for the dashboard. Yes, you can actually click on the setting. Uh, already that's the name we have, okay? So it's already there, okay? So main banner. You can actually see it's a design main banner and drag to the position. So you can actually do what? Check it out. You see everything is nice, all true. So you don't have any problem. Same thing with the web. This is how it is. This is the URL. It's okay. So pages, uh, you can actually check the pages. Connect with website to select pages. So now what we need to do here is to do what? Connect, right? With the website to actually see that but i want us to not jump this is the appearance this is the home screen i want us to make sure we do what is right so here uh, yeah, i'm sure we are actually here so it's not yet connectivity so let's say next to so sources app dashboard designed successful so right now your dashboard has you know successfully installed so you have installed the app myself plugin for wordpress now they are saying you should now do what to connect your app to your website you need to install the app my site plugin on your wordpress website so you can log into your site back end install and activate the plugin connect uh what website with the app now you can actually say what download the plugin so plugin is not installed on your site so i click what download plugin so when i download the plugin look at the plugin here so i click download why is downloading look at it here yeah, downloading it's done downloading so let me go to my site so i log into my site so log into my site now someone will say what if i actually don't have a website already that is one question a second question somebody will say okay what if a client is the one that gave me the website to design now the first question is what if i don't have a website if you don't have a website of course and you want to convert it i will advise you to first of all have the website first 
then you can convert it to a mobile app. The second question is, if it's a client that is giving you the projects to actually design the mobile app, they will have to give you the login details to their website so that you can log into the site, install this plugin and connect it with your website. So that's what I think and I said you should do, okay? All right, so here is my dashboard. So I need to go straight to what? Login. Add new plugin. Upload plugin. Here's the plugin. Install the plugin. Activate the plugin. Now I've done that. Okay, it's not there. So now go back again to my site. So connect the app. So let me verify. First of all, since I have done that, so I click verify. So now the need to show that my app is now what? Connected. Now I say congratulations, you have successfully done what? Set up your app. Give it a spin here. Let's see. Okay. So we need to give it a spin to see how it goes. All right. Now they say test app on read device, download app. Okay. So right now this I'll click here. Let me just click this. So let me start installing the app and launch it. And so we'll see how it's going to look like. Okay. Uh, now allow my site would like to send you notification. So I click allow. Okay. Now everything on my website will now do what to show here so you see remember how my site looks like let me go to the front end of the site so this is the front end of my website so let's go to the app all right so here is my site my menu and all that the online ambassador so welcome to the online ambassador platform so i can have all of them here but check the drop down you see what we have about us, contact us, web hosting, freelance, everything. You see, that is what is there, exactly the way it is. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so let me use my soft. I'm actually scrolling right now, just scrolling right now to the sites. So, scrolling. Okay, my, my laptop is a soft screen, so I'm actually just scrolling with my hand. Okay, so this is a site. So, this is a site. Yeah, that's the site. Then I can actually also do what? Click down so you can see the drop down. So that's my app. Now you can go further to download the app, which is downloading the app section here. You can actually go to performance and see web hosting, web security. You don't need all that because I have already a platform that you can use for all that Amados hosting already. So in case you need a database where you can actually you know connect all that is happening i already have a web hosting so if you need a web hosting i will put the link on the description below so that you can actually go to our hosting and get a database maybe buy any of the uh, plans that you want that you think will be suitable for whatever thing you want to build okay i have plans you can choose from the plans and it's very cheap one thousand for a month four thousand five for a month five thousand for a month seven five for a month depending on the plans that you want okay so that is actually cool then if you want to test it on any app you can actually do a download the demo app you can actually do all that any of them that you want okay all right so uh push notification let's see how what it is the same push notification is saying you have to upgrade a plan to get that uh multi-site so let's say you have multiple sites then multi-site website on one app if you have multiple websites or a multi-site network you can connect them to a single app support multi-site website and a multi-site network download and publish one app for all of your website enable customers to switch between website within the app easy to manage quick to update but you need to purchase an add-on that will allow that workout then we have uh, which of the program multi-site i'm talking about app monetization for android uh now let me see now on the zero plan, see how smart they are now. On the zero plan, I can only preview the app, but I cannot pub ready to publish it. Okay, so which means I can publish this app on Play Store or iOS Store. The only one I can do is the one that I use for nine dollars, which is the starter plan. This I can only preview it because if you go down, you can preview. You can't do anything. Or everything they are showing you can see every of these things that is here but you can't download see but this is the only one you can download publish distribute and do so many other things nice so now let's say we have nine dollars 
Let's check it out. Nine dollars is three thousand one hundred. Okay, so three thousand one hundred times twelve. So let me see. Three one hundred times twelve. It's giving us how much? All right, so it's giving us forty thousand nine eight six. So, uh, which means we're going to be spending just forty thousand naira for a year. So, which means every year, every year you're going to be spending uh, forty thousand. Let me say forty thousand two hundred or forty two thousand naira every year to renew this particular app. Now, what and what comes with it? Ready to publish your app to any of these stuff. You can distribute your license to Android alone. You can distribute it to uh, iOS store. The platform that you can actually also publish it is only Android. So only Android, which means it's only one platform. This very account is then web form, whatever e-commerce or WordPress. You can personalize the design from outside even what you see. Three times you can with the website, three times stimulation. You can have a logo login. You can have dynamic app menu, payment gateway support, social media integration, unlimited app revision, collaboration to users, prayer support, other uh, sorry, priority support, unlimited push notification, app monetization. So this is what you get in this very particular one that every year you'll be paying. 40,000 plus also 40, 42,000 or 41,000 or thereabouts every year. Let's even just say 45,000 every year. That's what you're going to be paying. But you will not have the white label because uh, the white label is for you to be able to remove the app from where people can actually see. Let me go back to so that's what I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's go back to our dashboard. Let's preview the app. So you see, I click to start. Let me even use the so I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is what to show. All those issues you must show with that plan, I guess. See, this is the one powered by App My Site. Are you getting me? So, uh, for that, only one that you cannot do show, without showing, which is the white label, is this one called 19,000. So we have 7,760. Uh, so let me see what it will be if I decide to make it times 12. So we have 93,181. So which means every year you will be renewing the, side, the, the mobile app with this amount of money. But nobody will not know where the app is designed and developed. So which means if you have a client, and you charge the client 500,000, 400,000 to design the site. You need to also not talk about maintenance fee or talk about something that will actually, you know, for every year they have to pay for renewal. So maybe you could actually attach that with the hosting. So, which means when you get your hosting and get this, at the end of the day, if you are charging 500,000, you are spending you um, around let's say 100,000 for the app, if you have 400,000, then maybe you spend about 50K, 60K, 70K for an app um, hosting for database and all that. So at the end of the day, you are spending less than 200,000 and you have 300,000. Even if you collect 300,000, uh, 400,000, even if you collect 300,000, you still gonna be having money and they'll be paying you regularly every year for maintenance and for hosting and for all that, which of course, you can actually also have to maintain this and still do what you're doing and still make money every year. So I think it's not a bad, uh, it's not a bad, it's not bad, it's not bad. So you can actually get it. So this is actually what is holding you. Once you're ready, if you want this, you click get started, then it will now tell you to actually do what you have this amount of money to pay totally, then you can actually do. So they're saying add ons with your plan. These are the things with your plan white label, mobile app design, which means need professional to do all that for you. But if you are wanting someone else to do this for you, you need to add it to this, which means you're going to add 49 to this. But well, already, the, this is what is part of it. Uh, this one, in case you want this and this, uh, for them to help you upload it, if you don't know how to upload it, you need to add. So all this one you see, add, 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 is that you have to add, add on to it, which means when you add it, then they will also add. Because if you look, for example, what I mean by that is, this is what 
is part of the plan. But if you click this one and say app design, just look the money we have here and you click add, see what will happen. Say you've added that much. So if you go and add this again, see what happen. So that's the idea. So please I don't think it's something that you need to add all these things. You can do it yourself. So the white label is only what I think you should take off. Uh, add so that you can actually have your website. Nobody will know the mobile app. Nobody will know where you build it from. So this is it. You put your first name, your last name, your company name, optional, tax, optional, street, site, street, blah, 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 whose country you're from. You choose Nigeria and uh, you get it. So all that. So you put it up. Your zip code, then you click this part that says I agree to the terms and condition, then you make them and everything will now be uh, really repackaged on your dashboard and you can take it up to the next level. Alright? So this is where I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna also be coming away again with also other videos that will tell you if some of the app I don't want to go into a view of all the old um, platform that will allow you to convert your website into a mobile app. So I will just be bringing you different different means at which you can actually turn your website into a mobile app. So anyone you think it's easy, I will bring the one that totally is going to be free. I will bring the one that also you need to pay small. I will bring the one that you're not going to pay anything at all. All will be coming your way. So just make sure you actually subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up, and actually also do what share with a lot of people so that they can benefit. A lot of people are being paid a lot of money to do this. Uh, especially developing that mobile app, which on a very good day you can watch my video and you can do it yourself. So this is a platform that is dedicated for all of us and all of you and including uh, my students who are every person through my class that comes up every once in a month for web design, mobile app development, cyber security, YouTube channel creation, uh, social media influencing, digital marketing and SEO and a lot of them like that and the class it's very affordable with, of course, my phone number I'm going to be putting in the description below so that you can actually call and see how you can be part of it if you are in FCT Abuja, Nigeria. Thank you very much. Until I come your way again next time, I still remember your one and only, Ados Michael. Bye for now.